Hi, I'm Chris Tag. Welcome to this week's Repair Tag. This gorgeous mid 70s Selmer Mark VI was in for some minor regulation and a check over. This week I also worked on a client's 1910 Holton Courtier model B flat cornet. I checked the valve porting as well as looked for any oddities in the bore of the cornet. With the digital inspection camera, I was able to check the valve porting as well as look at critical areas of the horn for obstructions or improper solder, such as the bell ferrule. Josh worked on this virtuoso tenor sax by Berkeley with a burnt nickel finish. All the pads were sticky and it had some regulation issues. After correcting the regulation and cleaning all of the tone holes, everything was working properly. There are always fun things you get to take care of when you own the equipment. My buffing machine switch went south on me. Literally, it went south. It broke in the on position and the toggle switch just hung down. It turns out the switch broke apart. At least we were able to control it with the breaker until I had time to replace the switch. Much better. This client's Yanagisawa 991 curved soprano was having some playing issues around the G. I corrected some regulation issues and added more shellac behind a couple of pads to make them more stable and correct the playing issues. I worked a bit more on my 1865 Slater B flat cornet. I took the third slide components apart to correct some alignment issues. Another ferrule cracked, and I got to make another one. I took some bell dents out of this older Bach Model 12 trombone. I gave this great old Bach large bore Model 43 an ultrasonic cleaning this week. This is a 1965 trumpet, which is a very early Elkhart, Indiana production horn. Well, that does it for this week's episode. Tune in next week for the latest episode of Repair Tag.